you Slashaholics, we have a special treat for you today. In the vein of our last video for Mother's Day, we are doing another revenge horror film from the maestro that was, rest in peace, and still is, Wes Craven. Mm -hmm. Even though he's gone, we still, there will, will not be another director like Wes Craven, mm -hmm. that's for sure. Uh, we are talking about the classic film from 1977, one of our first, one of his first forays into horror, mm -hmm. The Hills of Eyes. So join us as we delve into the hardest R movies for that time. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was so hard R. Yeah. Wes had to recut the film several times to avoid the X rating and keep it out of the porn theaters. That's just nuts to think that uh, about that now because personally, I felt that this was kind of mild by today's. Standards. I would agree with you, and it's not as far as like keeping things out of the porn theaters. There's absolutely no nudity in this film. Mm -mm. No, even in the the rape scene. Yeah, there's no nudity. It's it's all very much implied. I mean, there's very little gore, very little blood. The rape scene was like the only thing that I can think of even at that time of 77 that mm -hmm. would try to even push it. Although, I mean, there is a baby that uh, I guess in the initial cut was murdered. Yeah, and the, the implication is that that baby's about to get eaten through the entire movie. Oh yeah. So, I mean, they're, they've been just like waiting to eat that baby. Uh, the suburban Carter family is traveling on vacation, towing a trailer en route to Los Angeles. Parents Bob and Ethel are driving, accompanied by their teenage children, Bobby and Brenda, and their elder, eldest daughter, Lynn, and her, Lynn's husband, Doug. Lynn and Doug also have a baby named Katie, and the family's dogs, Beauty and Beast. <laughs> what, 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 what a name combo. I for know, it. I and, know. And I, I love the fact that uh, Lynn is played by the, the legendary... D. Wallace. D. Wallace. In fact, this was one of like, her the first films. films. It, yeah. It, 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 I think it actually was her first. I think there was might have been one other film before it, but I, it was. It's considered of her, her breakout first, role. Yeah, exactly. And she's really good in this movie. Mm -hmm. Like everybody is fantastic in this movie. Um, in Nevada, they stop at while they're in Nevada, cr driving cross country. They mm -hmm. stop at Fred's Oasis for fuel, <laughs> and Fred basically <laughs> just like begs uh, them to stay on the main road and not to go this back route. Um, right. You folks go right to California and have a good trip. You folks stay on the main road now, you hear? Stay on the main road! So, yeah. Um, as they're leaving, uh, Fred's, tr bleh, Fred's truck actually explodes. Dismissing Fred's warnings as a crazy person's ramblings, the Carters get started uh, get startled by an overhead aircraft when when they decide to go ahead and drive into the desert anyways against Fred's warnings. I mean, if there's anything that we have ever learned from watching horror films, always listen to listen the old to crazy the Harbinger. Right. Always listen to the Harbinger. Right. He knows what he's freaking talking about. But what happens? They skid off the road and crash, breaking an axle on their car. The dogs become very panicky and start barking at the hills. I don't know, maybe because the hills have eyes? Yeah, somebody's watching from those hills. Beauty then runs off into the hills. Chasing after her, Bobby finds her mutilated body. Frightened, he runs, falls, and gets a gash on his face. It actually sounds like he fell and... Like, like if you knocked listen, if himself you, unconscious or it, something. If you know? listen to it, it actually sounds like broken bone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I'm when surprised he, falls, he wasn't hurt like, worse than right. he um, so Bob, the dad of the family, walks back to Fred's oasis to get help. As night falls, he actually finds Fred, um, who shoots at him, and he shoots back at him, and then, like, he walks in the room, and Fred is trying to hang himself. With his belt. With his belt. And, you know, he gets him down, he's like, what are you doing, idiot? What are you, like, why would you be hanging yourself? Well, Fred then tells them the story of 
the people that live in the hills. And not and not it's not just people that live in the hills. The, it's his son. The, the the father Father Jupiter is his son. Yeah. Papa Jupe, as they call as the family calls him, is the son of Fred, the guy that runs the gas station. Who apparently Fred tried to kill him with a tire iron. <laughs> yeah, when he was like ten years old he tried to kill him with a tire iron and that's why he has a gash across his face. Yeah. Or at least that's why I assume he has the gash across I his mean, face. I mean it makes it makes the most sense as to why you would have that. Yeah, exactly. However, Jupiter survived and had children with a depraved alcoholic prostitute known as Mama. Mama. Together they had three sons, Mars, Pluto, and Mercury, and an abused daughter, Ruby. The family, led by Papa Jupiter, which is uh, just a hell of a name, and I, why are they all named after fucking planets? I don't know, because they're... they're but it's something wrong just, with these It's people. just the men. Yes. It's just the men. Yeah, because they got Ruby and Mama. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. There's no explanation for why their names are that way, as far as I know. The family led by Papa Jupiter survives by cannibalizing travelers and stealing supplies. Papa Jupiter suddenly crashes through a window, kills Fred with a tire iron, and actually I don't think it was a tire iron, I think it was a crowbar. It was a crowbar, and then he like stabs him through the chest with the crowbar too. So. Yeah, right. And takes Bob prisoner to crucify him later. Yeah, it is quite a scene. Mm. Uh, Brenda then finds Bobby. Brenda and Bobby are the two younger, the teenage siblings. Um, and Bobby's still pretty shaken up about Beauty, but does not tell them what yeah, happened. I don't understand why. I don't understand all. either. He should have said something right away and could have started them on some kind of path right. to protecting themselves. Right. But no, he chose to keep his mouth shut about someone brutally murdering their dog. Um, anyways, uh, Pluto ends up sneaking into the trailer and signals to Papa Jupiter that to set Bob on fire as a distraction so that he can steal whatever is in the trailer and basically try to get whatever they can from the trailer. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, they, uh, not only was Bob burned crucified, alive, crucified, but then he was burned alive. Yeah. Brenda mm. stays in the trailer with Katie while Ethel, Lynn, Doug, and Bobby rush out to save Bob. But the Carters eventually extinguish the fire, and Bob shortly after dies. Yeah, that is a terrible way to go. That is a terrible way to go. Believe me, I have had severe burns on my body before, and like third degree on my hand, and that is one of the biggest fears that I mm -hmm. have is burning to death. I, I, I mean, I think that, I think it's a valid fear for anyone to have. I agree. Period. I agree. As the Carters extinguish the fire, Pluto and Mars ransack the camper, and Mars rapes. Brenda. When Ethel and Lynn return, Mars shoots them both. Walls did not last long. She one. really did not last long. She she tends to make it to the end of the movie as Dee Wallace does. Mm -hmm. She's a bit of a scream queen. I mean, maybe not in the same sense of scream queen as we not, think, but um, she not, definitely only makes it about halfway through this film. Not as much as that blonde. That that blonde. All oh she did gosh. in this is fucking yeah, Brenda, scream. Yeah, Brenda screamed and screamed and screamed. <sighs> Mars shoots them both. Pluto abducts Katie and the brothers flee, in uh, intending for the family to eat the, the baby. baby. They're going to eat that baby. Hearing their screams, Doug and Bobby rush back only to find Lynn dead, Ethel mortally wounded, and Brenda completely traumatized. Yeah. I mean, I'd be pretty traumatized, too, if I'd been raped and then... My I, baby I, niece was stolen in front of me. And I my understand sister that. And I mother. just, I think, the and screaming, my I think the screaming was a little overkill, though. Yeah, I'd agree. But I mean, I would say Sally screamed even more than that in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's all she did was run and scream. Yeah, that's true too. Anyways, <laughs> not my little obsession with Texas Chainsaw Massacre coming through or anything like that. No, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> so Mars and Pluto return to their home, a cave on the hillside, and Beast pushes Mercury off the top of a hilltop to his death. That's a little bit of vindication for his sister being killed, his right. sister or, daughter or, being killed. Or as they imply later that it was her, his lover. Yes. Uh, Mama chains Ruby outside of the cave and torments her and forces her to eat beauty as punishment for sympathizing with the Carters. But the next morning, shortly after they wake up, Ethel dies.
and Doug sets out to find Katie while Papa Jupiter and Pluto set out to kill the remaining family members. So Doug kind of goes one way out into the hills to find his baby and Papa Jupiter and uh, um, Pluto start coming back towards the camper to finish off the job and kill the rest of the family. Beast tears Pluto's, I mean, he, first he mauls in his leg, then he tears his throat out. And I, that was just beautiful. I was, was literally standing up going, yeah, Beast, get that motherfucker. Get him, get him. <laughs> I was so excited. So happy. <laughs> Brenda and Bobby actually got real smart right here. And they set a trap to try to kill Papa Jupiter using their mother's corpse, I guess. Yeah, I mean, at least as a distraction or something to attract them to her. That, I mean, it was effed up, but brilliantly planned. I, I yes. gotta give them that. Agreed. Um, Doug gets to the cave where he sees Ruby knocking out Mama and carrying Katie away. Doug catches up with Ruby, but Mars follows... And Mars uh, was actually stabbed in the leg earlier. Yeah, Mars so had been he's, stabbed he's in the leg wounded. earlier, um, shortly after, after the, he, rape, the scene. rape scene. Yeah, after he raped Brenda. So his leg was wounded. He's moving a little bit slower than Doug and Ruby as they're trying to mm -hmm. run away through the hills. Um, Ruby is running with that baby. And let me tell you what, I kept going, oh my God, hold that baby right. You're going to kill that baby. Honestly, if you watch the scene where she's running with the baby, you can you, clearly see that it's not oh a yeah, human it's not baby. A real baby. Or it's, it's <laughs> like the, one of the legs is literally like flopping, flopping around like this. everywhere. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not a real baby. No, but, no. But the, ba the baby is real in a lot of scenes. Though, no, so it is. Enough, right, enough so right. to make us believe that that was supposed to be real. Mars pursues both Doug and Ruby into the hills. The hills have eyes. The hills have eyes. The hills have eyes. <laughs> Mars gains the upper hand, but Ruby interferes, enabling Doug to overpower him. Doug then savagely stabs Mars. Like, and just like over and over and over and continues and over again. long after he's dead, whilst Ruby weeps in the distance. Weep away, Ruby. Weep away. And your that, family sucked, <laughs> right? But that is where the film ends. It yeah. ends very abruptly, kind of like our last one. Yep, yep. And it's just—it's kind of—it's almost ambiguous as to as to how it ends. Like, does However, that go back? However, we know hit? that we get a sequel after this, and that's something that maybe we'll cover eventually. Um, there is a Hills Have Eyes two, and it is directed by Wes Craven. Which is um, which is rare in the horror field that you get a sequel that's directed by the same, the same director. director. Yeah, I mean, well, West did tend to stick with his franchises. Not um, nightmare. That's true. That's true. Um, but nonetheless, we uh, we do get a sequel to The Hills Have Eyes, so we do get a little bit of answers and two remakes. Yeah. Yes. Well, a remake and a sequel. A to remake, the remake and a sequel to the remake. Yes. Um, which honestly, I actually, right. I actually, it's one of the few remakes that I actually enjoyed. I, I, I will be honest. I watched the remake long before I watched this. I, I didn't even watch this until we recorded today. So that's how long I've waited to see and the original. And for me, it had been a really long time. I know I've talked about this before that Scream opened a lot of, uh, doors for me. This was part of my West Craven education. Um, so we're talking more than 20 years ago. So it was like a new experience watching this again, too. Oh, I mean, yeah, definitely. It was like watching any, it Anytime time. you watch something when you're a, a younger mind and you yeah, watch it later sure. when you've grown up. Yeah. I honestly don't remember. I didn't eyes. remember that much of the movie as I was watching it. Right. I know I had seen it before, but as I was watching it, it was like watching a movie all over again. And I mean, I've seen the remakes, too. Um, but still, again, it was like watching a, a brand new movie. It's kind of fun that way. I, yeah. Oh, 100%. I am going to have to give this a bloody machete up. Bloody machete up for me too. The acting I think was on par with the exception of Brenda's screaming the entire True. time. True. But the traps were ingenious. The, the story the kills is were really, ingenious. really interesting too. The I mean, story it's, it's is a interesting. Story that Yes, we see more now because we have seen this. But I think this out, was the blueprint for it. You know, exactly. I, I think this started definitely like I, I heavily inspired Hills Have Eyes. Well, this is the Hills Have Eyes. Uh, heavily inspired. Wrong turn. Wrong turn. Wrong turn. Absolutely. Um, but this is actually loosely inspired by real life event or rumored to be real life events that transpired uh, in 1500s Scotland. Oh, yeah, I think I read that um, about a cannibal family. Yeah, right? yeah, although nobody can prove that it actually happened. But, I mean, you know, rumors be what rumors be. Mm -hmm. They so. sure do be. <laughs> do be, do be, do be. <laughs> so All right. with that, um, we've got another movie coming, don't we? Yee.
Let's woo! That was a good one. Bang crash. Good job, Hallie. You should have seen our producer jump out of his skin on that one. It didn't really hit anything hard. It was just loud. I don't think I'll have to put in a sound effect no, for that No, I one. don't think you will. <laughs> so what's up next, Hallie? I think it's time we do some fucking Cronenberg. Cronenberg! Cronenberg Body for horror. the horror. Body horror with the fly. Yay! Which, yes. actually, we shouldn't even be doing this one because we don't do remakes. That's true. We aren't. We. This is something new for us because this is actually a remake of a movie from the 50s. Yeah. 1958. So, yeah, this is actually a remake, but it is a completely new Different. It's a completely different film, honestly, yeah. in, my, in my eyes. Absolutely. So, come back here two weeks time when we will be checking out Jeff Goldblum and Gina Davis in the quintessential 80s sci-fi hey, flick. Yeah. <laughs> you know I love Jeff Goldblum so much. I mean, he, I mean, he, I, 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 I Saint Man. Yeah, <laughs> I loved him in Jurassic Park, oh, Independence Day. You know, I, mean, I, I loved mean, he, him he in literally, literally has everything. a career. He has a career that has spanned over fifty years. Yeah, and he's still making good movies. He's, and he's still doing good content. Yeah. and he's hilarious. Oh, still to this day. Hilarious. So, until then, be sure to stab that subscribe button and slash the like button and ringling that gray bell so you can get notified on all of our latest videos. Until then, we, we will see, see you in the afterlife. afterlife.